Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and welcome to part one of the Aspirations Challenge. I am so excited for this challenge. I've been planning it uh, for a really long time. I've actually been planning it since my channel first started, but I've kind of hesitated because I thought maybe it would be too long of a challenge and people wouldn't be into it really. But I think it'd be fun because there can be some storytelling with it, and it's not so much of a challenge that the challenge part takes up the whole LP. We can also tell some stories and have families and different lifestyles, and I think it's gonna be really fun. Um, so this challenge is actually something that I kind of just created on my own. I'm just following my own rules. It's how I've always played The Sims. Ever since The Sims 2, I've played this way. Uh, basically, I start with a sim. I don't play with any money cheats or really any cheats at all other than like MC Command Center kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so I just start with their, my family or my sim and they move into a house. I start their life and I start their aspiration and I try to do one aspiration per generation until I've done all the aspirations. At this point in the game, we have, I believe, 35 aspirations. So it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be 35 generations long. This will probably be an LP that will be going on on my channel for forever. <laughs> like It's going to take a long time. I mean, I did do the Not So Very Challenge. There's 10 generations uh, in like four or five months. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I bet it'll take a couple of years to get it done. But it's going to be really fun to do it, I think, and I am just so into doing it this way. I haven't really seen a lot of other YouTubers try this kind of challenge that's going to be this long. Uh, and I'm totally up for it, and I hope that you guys are too. I think it's going to be really fun. But anyway, I'm just going to get into the rules. So all the traits must be randomized for all the kids that we have. Um, and also, the firstborn child is always the heir. Or heiress, uh, unless that sim dies, then the next sibling can be the next in line. And other than that, I do, that's kind of, I'm pretty open to it all. So I just kind of wanted to show the world that I'm, or this is the world, but the save file I'm going to be playing in. So I changed, I went into all the lots, all the worlds, and changed pretty much everything to make it look a little bit better. Uh, so this, I've still got like the museum, I've got, I've added about eight or nine restaurants, um, I've put in some new parks, some wedding venues, some nicer lots. So this is Willow Creek right here. This is where our sim will be living. Um, so we will be living right there. But I just wanted to kind of show off all the worlds that I've got going on. Um, so this is Oasis Springs. I've got um, a lot of like these mid-century homes and then it's like some Spanish villas over here. I put in like this um, water park type thing. And then for Newcrest, I've filled that up a little bit as well. A little bit. It's completely full. Um, <laughs> there's this hiking forest that I've never been to. I went on the gallery and looked at some really cool lots. I wish that I could credit all the builders that I use, but I mean, it's it's basically impossible. I used so many different ones. A lot of them are from Simlessy. She's my favorite builder, and I did include a lot of her lots as well. Uh, I've got like a, a Kimmy's Seafood Restaurant, we've got like a spa, a rock wall gym, a bakery, a whole bunch of like just basically um, starter homes are in Newcrest. We've got a bowling alley, art center, a kid park. I have got everything we need. There are, <laughs> there are no lots that I would need to download. This should last us for the entire challenge. Uh, and then for Magnolia Promenade, I actually put in um, a really cool club, there's a Shake Shack, there's another art center, and an underwater restaurant, which I can't wait to visit. Uh, and then for Windenburg, I just put in a lot of these like Tudor looking houses and some uh, some more interesting houses on this uh, island type thing. I downloaded an improved bluffs, it's called, and I put in like another wedding venue over there, Ancient Ruins Weddings, it's called, uh, a few more restaurants, pools, uh, retail lots, cafes, bars, like I just had so much fun and I, it took a long, long time to do this. This has been in the making for a while. Um, so I also put in like a restaurant over here, Asian on the Wharf it's called. Uh, most of the apartments are just the same though. I can kind of change them whenever we want to live in them. There's a disco, um, what's it called, nightclub over there. There is a Bayside, Bayside Bar and Grill. So we've got like this thing too, which is a bowling alley and karaoke bar. 
So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then, oh my god, I just, we were just here. Uh, Forgotten Hollow didn't change anything there. I'm not super excited about vampires, but I will be playing with them uh, because there are two or three vampire aspirations, so we got to complete those two. Uh, Brindleton Bay, always my favorite world. Filled this up too. We've got like a I think this uh, vet clinic was built by Simlacy, um, an ocean cafe, just a whole bunch of new lots, another restaurant, and uh, some more like residential lots as well. Just kind of an improved um, version of everything, I guess. And then for Del Sol Valley, I did change out all the houses and the pinnacles. Uh, I put in some different houses over here. And I didn't really touch much of this because I'm kind of alright with how it is. I did put a restaurant there instead though because I didn't think we needed two lounges. But yeah, I've recreated all the worlds for this save file. I wanted it to be perfect. I wanted it to be filled up with lots of different sims, uh, lots of different interesting lots to go to, and so that is what I have done. So we are gonna head into the household that we're gonna be playing with. Uh, this introduction might be a little bit long-winded, but I really, um, I've been playing this for so long and I want it to go well, and I really want you guys to kind of get an understanding for the rules and what I'm trying to do here. I know it seems crazy to be like 35 generations. I'm not I'm not gonna keep up with that. That's okay if you don't watch all of them. There's always gonna be different families we're gonna be playing with. There's gonna be different stories, different lifestyles. And I think it's gonna be really exciting. So this is Laurel Dreamer. She is my founder sim for the Aspirations Challenge. Um, so her traits are clumsy, family oriented, cheerful and she also has the domestic trait as well. Uh, Laurel is a young adult and I thought the perfect aspiration to start off would be the successful lineage um, aspiration. So Laurel's backstory is she has moved to Willow Creek from you know some other world and she wants to start over, she wants to start her life over and she wants to... <laughs> dog noises in the background. She wants to create a really um, a really interesting life for herself and she wants to create a legacy. So that's her biggest dream and that's kind of where it's all going to start. So successful lineage is where it starts with the, the first of the 35 generations that we're going to be playing. Whoa, sorry, that was rude. Uh, first of the 35 generations we're going to be playing with. So Laurel's house, I did download it from the gallery. Um, I'm not taking credit for any of these builds. I don't think I even used any of my own builds in any of these worlds. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe maybe I did, but um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. So this is Laurel's house. Um, I think it's really cute, and I didn't change much. Like, this is how it was kind of already furnished. I didn't really change a lot. Didn't really need to. She has $1,300 left over. Um, she's got pretty much everything we need. We got a computer there as well. Um, just the basics. It's it's her starter home and I'm not playing with cheats so I, she kind of has to work her way up a little bit as we get her aspiration uh, going and uh, I mean the first, we have to kind of jump into having kids a little bit so it's gonna be that's kind of one of the first things we have to work on is finding somebody. I did put some single sims around and uh, she can definitely meet some of them as well. So yeah, I, basically, we're just going to start off Laurel's uh, story. I'm just thinking if there's anything else we need to say about Laurel. Um, she's got all her outfits as well. We could go into Create a Sam, but I don't know. You'll you'll see them as we play. You'll get to see all of her different outfits. Um, another one of my rules is that this is hard to explain, but uh, basically, I, tr I always, since I don't want to use money cheats, but I also don't want each generation to start off as like a, um, a starter. I don't want each generation to start off in a starter home because it's, it gets very repetitive and very boring to do it that way. So what I try to do is actually save up some money to pass on to the next generation. Um, that could be like 5,000 or 10,000 or 20,000. I've saved up like a hundred before. So it kind of just depends on the family and how much money they have and how much they're able to save for their kid for them to move out. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. And if new packs come, um, you know, or come out during this um, challenge, which they definitely will within the next few years, uh, then I will include those aspirations as well. So I, I imagine it'll go up from just 35. It could by the time we're done, it could be 40. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do with Laurel is get her 
to find a job. I'm going to stop yammering about all the rules. If you do have any questions about the rules, um, just let me know because like I said, I've just kind of created this for myself and um, I'm not really following anyone else's rules. They're just kind of how I like to do it. Um, so we're going to, what should she be? What should she be? Um, one idea I had was to kind of make her, since she wants to be a successful, or her aspiration is successful lineage, she could be like a mom blogger. There's a lot, that's very trendy right now. So I was thinking about doing that. Um, and it's kind of fun to try the new career. Maybe we should do that. Let's get her to, let's see if we can afford, um, what you need. I think you need like the, that whole setup that came with Get Famous. I don't know if we can afford that though. I don't even know where it is, to be honest. I have not played with that yet. Um, uh, is it this thing? Nope, that's a music mixer. Uh, a lot of cool stuff you can do with Get Famous. It's just gonna take a long time to actually try everything. Hmm. Uh, see, there's a... What's this? A sound effects. There's a camera. Styling station. Am I just missing it? A celestial crown? I, I feel like... I feel like I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that's that's how I feel right now. I don't know how to... Is it an electronics, maybe? It's something that I've never tried. Oh, this thing right here. So we need $1,600. That's okay. We can sell that, and then we'll be good to go, I think. Oh, it's tight for space. Uh, let's put it outside for a minute. <laughs> so I can just uh, do this. So she's going to start out by blogging her journey, I think. I think that's kind of a good idea. She can blog pretty much everything that goes on. Oh, this is going to be tough to fit into the space. Oh my god, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scream. Uh, does it fit like that? Oh my god, it looks really weird. What a strange computer, though. Like, why? 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 Why are we doing it like that? That doesn't work. That is better, I think. We're going to go with that. So she is going to be blogging her entire journey from start to finish. Uh, let's, I don't even know what to do, honestly, because I'm so new to this. Record a video. Uh, let's record a cheerful vlog. Uh, she's just moved to Willow Creek. She's just moved into her house and she's feeling excited about it. So she's going to do that. Kimba. <laughs> Okay, wow, she is very excited. <laughs> so I don't know how long this takes, but I'm going to let her do that. Oh, the welcome wagon is here. Well, I'm recording a video right now. Wow, that was loud. Nathaniel Monroe. So you might actually see some sims floating around that um, you recognize. I just added a lot of the more popular ones from the gallery. Oh, we also have Jet Ar Aridondo. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that. Um... I want her to finish her blog. Yeah, we can finish our blog before we go say hi. I don't care about Summer or Liberty, to be honest. But we do need to find ourselves a boyfriend at some point. That is kind of important. Because uh, the first thing she wants to do, well, become an adult. Done. We did that. Spend $1,000 on kid stuff. I mean, we could just do that. But it makes more sense to actually have a child first. And then we come outside. I feel like I'm going to want to play this all the time. Oh, they're leaving. We got a negative re Oh, they hate us. They hate us. That's, that is not good. Liberty, Jet, Nathaniel, and Summer don't like us. Because we didn't answer the door. But, I mean, first things first. got to work on our blog here. Uh, what do you want to call this video? Um, Willow Creek Welcome. Whoa, I can't type. There we go. Okay, so that's uh, Jeff. She did her first video. Now what do we do? Like, this is a problem. I don't know how to do this. Record a video, cheerful blog, post updates. Um, hype next video. I don't really... Is this... Do you gain fame from doing this? Or is this like an actual job? That actually looks like the editing software that I use. Um, post updates... Reply to comments. See, like, I don't really want her to be famous. Um, I think you have to, though. I think you just, you have to. Uh, study trends. Record a video. Fashion tips. Beauty tips. I like all of that. Media production. 
Um, hmm. Okay, so what I kind of want to do is get her to meet someone. I, I feel bad that we ignored the people that were at the door. So let's go outside. Um, the following are now trending. Tech review, fishing, handiness, happy vlog. These same topics should be trending for another couple of days. Okay, let's change into our outerwear. It's a little extreme for the light little flurries that we're experiencing. Um, who can we go say hi to? This is Victor Feng. Um, let's do a funny introduction. I just want her to get to know some people from around this neighborhood. Um, who do we have over here? London Purvis and Dominic. So they're hanging out. Um, we got a land grab over there. It's a pretty happening place, actually. We got Victor <laughs> Feng. I think he's from San Maestrino. We'll brighten his day. Gossip. Get to know. Or, goodbye. Good enough. Um, I was trying to click get to know. Uh, but I really want her to meet someone that she could potentially date. And I kind of hate all the townies. <laughs> uh, I just, I'm just bored with them. I feel like, you know, been there, done that. It's not very exciting. Where did she go? Okay. She's still right there. Oh. I feel like she needs to actually make money somehow, and I don't know how to do that with the with the media production. Uh, let's meet Dominic. I feel like just if we have a couple of friends, a couple of people that we know, that's good. Ask about his day. Get to know him. Tell a ghost story. And we got... No. Everyone here is a townie. They're, none of them are the ones that I or I downloaded, though, which is kind of sucks. I was hoping that I would see a few of them. That's a land grab. Don't care about him. I never have. Um, I think what we'll do is just go back to our house now. <laughs> there's, there's nobody cute, actually, is what I'm trying to say. Um, record, buy add-on, adjust lights... Let's record a video. Let's record a product review on toys, beauty products. Sure, do beauty products. I don't know. I don't really know how to how to do any of this, but we're gonna give it a try. I could be doing this all wrong, but I mean, I did want to try out this the whole media production thing, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do with her. Uh, because we're kind of doing two different things at once. Trying something new that came with Get Famous and starting a new LP that isn't really about Get Famous. So when she's done that, she can go to the washroom. And then, how does it work? Do you edit your video? I mean, what do you want to call this video? Uh, we don't need to, we don't need to type in something for everything. Uh, oh, edit, delete. Oh, I get it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So let's edit this video. I think you kind of have to get fame, though, in this. I don't think you have a choice. But that's alright. I just, I just want, I mostly want to make money off of it, but that's okay. So when she's done editing that, we can get her to come over here and serve grilled cheese, maybe. Hopefully she won't burn the house down. That would be good. And she's feeling tense. She needs amusement. So this thing isn't really even a computer. You can't do anything on it that isn't media production. So we'll have to use our TV for fun, I think. And, oh, who's, oh, that's more, more of these stupid EA townies. I want my own townies. What happened to them? I put in, I think there's someone that lives here. Yeah, the Arenando, and then there's someone that lives there. No, that's the BFF house. I did put in quite a few. I thought that they would just be around the neighborhood, but they, I guess not. We already missed it. You can actually change your outfit too, into something else. I did give her about three everyday outfits, I think. I always try to dress them according to like what I think their personality would be, which is always kind of a fun part of the Aspirations Challenge. Um, I've actually completed this challenge, <laughs> this is embarrassing, uh, twice <laughs> with The Sims 4. Um, I've gone through all of the all of the generations, all of the aspirations, and um, yeah, off camera though, like before I even started my channel. So that's kind of why I thought it'd be fun to do it this way, because I have done it before. <laughs> Just a couple of times. And The Sims 3, I did it I did it countless times in The Sims 3. I just, 
I have no life. <laughs> this is it. Um, then we could maybe, we could talk to someone that, actually, she does know these people. Like, we could call Jet and fix that relationship with him. Oh. Why does she look so mad? I guess they don't have a great relationship, but the whole point of calling him was to make it better. I, I can't help but think, feel like you're making it worse. You know, maybe you should just get off the phone if you're just gonna... Oh, wait. It, no, it went up. I don't think we fully fix things. Can we invite him to hang out, maybe? Let's hash this out in person. Like, yes, I'm sorry, I did not answer the door. I was sort of... Oh my god, that was creepy. You can get the hell out of here. <laughs> no. I, I don't want him. That was terrifying. Uh, is Jet gonna come over? Oh, he did come over. That's that's good. Um, apparently we have to actually introduce ourselves, even though he already doesn't like us. He's kind of a cute sim. Um, ask about his day. Discuss interests. Uh, compliment outfit. Actually, yeah. Ask about his career. I don't know, I just want to get get to know him. I don't remember all the sims that I added, so I can't remember what all their traits are and stuff. So we'll find out. He is unemployed and non-committal. Yikes. Well, obviously, he can't even hold a job. Is this another vampire? Please, no. You know what, Jet? I'm starting to rethink things, actually. I think you should go. <laughs> or maybe we'll just come and... Let's watch some TV. It's only 10 p.m. Um, she clearly doesn't have a job, either. But we did edit that video, so we should also post that one. Record video? How do I do this? I don't even know. We have nothing in our... <laughs> what? What happened to those videos? They were in our inventory. View video inventory. Delete, rename, upload. I'm a little nervous about the whole fame thing, but I, I guess that's just what we have to do. We're going to upload the video anyway. Even though I, I, don't, I don't really want the fame. That's alright. On the road to fame. Yep, yeah, that's... Oh wait, what? I should have read that second one. The most recent video that Laurel recorded is Catching Waves and has been nominated for an award. All right, what? Oh my god, we're, we're, really, we're really into this fame thing. Um, what else did we have? View inventory. We have this one. We could... Edit it? No. We should just go to bed. She looks miserable. She's feeling tense. Is Jet still here? He is. Let's ask him to leave and then go to bed. Which is a little harsh, but I don't think these two are gonna mesh well together. He's non-committal. That is totally not what Laurel is looking for. She wants someone that's gonna commit and raise a family with her and <laughs> help her complete her aspiration. And I just don't think it's gonna be Jet. He's kind of a loser, he doesn't have a job, he's non-committal, and, quite frankly, he's a jerk. So, I, he's not the one for us. Let's get her up. She can eat some leftover grilled cheese. And she's still super tense. Oh, she's slamming stuff. We're gonna have to find a better way for her to have fun, because this, this is not cutting it. She doesn't really want to watch TV, <laughs> which I understand. There's probably other things she would rather do. Um, so we'll get her ready for her day. She can go take a shower. Um, could we maybe upload a video? Uh, let's just uh, edit that video. I feel like you probably get a better outcome if you edit the videos before you post them, I would think. I don't know. I have no idea, but that's why it's fun. We get to find out. Okay, so skip the shower then, I guess. I think it takes a very long time to edit things as well. Um, I'm going to be on the lookout for other neighbors that we can meet. Who's this guy? Bjorn? Oh, oh, these two don't like each other. That's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, that's Marcus, I think, over there. This is Jacques. Not interested. This house is very interesting, by the way. I downloaded it off the gallery, and there's like... Like, the bedrooms are downstairs and everything else is upstairs, and it's very interesting how you can, like, build into a hill, but also, like, a basement slash foundation. I don't know. It's more than I can even comprehend. Like, look at how cool that is. I, I struggle so much with terrain, it's not even funny. You're taking a very, very long time. 
Is this a, and what is the skill exactly? Media production. See, like, can we make actual money from this? I think you should be able to. Oh, we did. We made $87 on that one video. Okay, good. So actually, what I kind of want to do, I don't want her to be famous. I really don't. Because we can still make money and we don't have to be famous. So let's opt out of being famous. Uh, I did read that a long time ago and it said that basically if you've already got a celebrity status, it's going to stay where it is. Um, but if you have no celebrity status, then it just doesn't give you one. So what she has now is what she's going to stay at. Let's also now upload that video. And then go take a shower. Cheerful lesson. The video has been uploaded. Expect daily royalty payments for how many views it gets. So yeah, once she has kids, she can be uh, doing her mom vlog thing. And let's get her to... Uh, we need to have fun somehow. I just don't know what's going to be fun for her. We could go fishing. Um, let's go to one of the interesting lots that I downloaded. Uh, with nobody. Well, hopefully we'll just meet someone. Uh, do I want free earbuds? Yeah, sure. I don't know. Most people say no to that, but whatever. I'm fine with it. Also, the last name Dreamer. Yes, it's from The Sims. Uh, wow, two. Uh, there's like Dirk Dreamer, the Dreamer family. Yeah, that is where that's from. Um, let's go to... There was a water park somewhere. Was it Oasis Springs? I think this is a water park. I don't know. Let's go check it out, though. I did download a whole bunch of different lots, and I do want to look at them and kind of explore them a little bit because I've never... I placed them all and didn't visit any of them, so... There's going to be a lot to cover, a lot to look at, um, but, but it's exciting. There are, like, ten restaurants, too. Okay, so this... I don't know who built this, by the way. I, I wish that I did, but... Oh, it is kind of cool. I don't think you can swim here, though. Oh... You very much can swim here. Let's do that. Let's go swim some laps. Okay, I actually really like this lot. Let's just, let's check it out. So it's like an entrance over there. They've got like these loungers. How did they create that? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, I get it. I mean, we should have loungers in the game already. There's like bowls of fruit all around. There's a barbecue up here with some picnic tables. You can swim. There's some monkey bars and a fire pit. I really like this lot, actually. It's very well done. Hmm, I'm very impressed. I like this waterfall thing. Uh, let's swim your swim your laps. Come on. I don't think it's gonna like make her, I don't know, any happier. <laughs> like her fun is what we're really worried about. No, she's just not having it. I'm trying to get her to swim lot lot. Uh, wow, laps, but she's not into it at all. <sighs> this is this is hard. Who's this person? Oh, that's Bob Pancakes. Malcolm Landgrab. There is no bunny. I put so many townies down and I don't know where they all are. This poor girl, she just wants to have fun. Um, let's go light a fire. We are starting in spring, by the way. Um, I just chose something randomly. It doesn't really matter to me. We're gonna see a lot of seasons. Um, let's play with this fire. Or not. My god, this woman is just gonna have the hardest time. Uh, it doesn't really matter though. I'll probably just get her fun up off camera because I'm gonna leave this part right here. Um, if you are enjoying this, uh, well, not so much the idea of it, but if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about the aspirations challenge. Are you looking forward to it? Are you excited? Did you like the first part? Do you think it's too much to do on one channel? Um, yeah, just give me all your feedback on this challenge. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Thanks so much for watching.